show you how easy it is to register a machine on the Brother Canvas workspace when you get a new Scan and Cut. It's really very intuitive, meaning they've made it so simple, you just have to kind of follow the directions. One of the first things you need to do is you need to go out to the Brother Canvas workspace. This is what the page looks like. You go to canvasworkspace.brother.com and bring your ideas to life. This is the landing page that it has and you want to log in and tell it to remember you. If you have never been here before, go ahead and create a password and create an account. It's completely free. So now that you're in, all right, and you've got your scan and cut turned on and plugged in and you haven't done a thing with it yet, right? The first thing you do need to do is wirelessly activate your machine, your scan and cut, and get it to connect with your network. On the screen here, there's the little wrench. That's your tools. Touch that and just scroll through the pages using the single down arrow and just keep clicking through it. You can read through it so you can figure out what all this thing has uh, options available in it. But just keep going until you get to up here it says network. Alright? So you touch network and then go to setup wizard. You can, in, if you don't this is WLAN is wireless local area network, I think. Wireless LAN enabled. You can click on right there, but even if you don't click on, it'll ask you to turn it on in a minute anyway. So you go to Setup Wizard and touch that, and it says searching SSID, and then you pick uh, a network that you want to connect to, okay? And Mine has more than one because my printer is telling it that it uh, it is wireless. I have 5G here at the house, but it looks like it's not finding the 5G. It finds the 2.4G, and then I have a wireless network extension. If you have more than one in your house, you want to choose the one that is closest to the machine. So I picked this one and hit OK, and it says there is a saved access point. OK to connect this information, yes. So it's connecting to the wireless LAN and it's going to ask you to put in your, use, your, your password. So it says connected to wireless LAN, specify the Canvas workspace setting in order to send cutting data bes between Canvas workspace and the machine. So hit next and it's happy. Now register the connection with the Canvas workspace and the machine in order to send cutting data to the Canvas workspace. So that's where you got to bring in and pull up your computer log in or create an account if you need to and when you get to your account and you've got this page right here this this basic page go up here to your name and click that and here's machine registration so you want to hit machine registration and it shows machines that I've got more than one here because here's my old 650 and this one here, is, we connected at the show when I was doing that demo, but I can't connect to it now, obviously, it's not here. But uh, register a new machine. I'm going to do that and input the machine number, okay? So when you've got the machine, when you click OK and you hit Next, there's the machine number right there. So you need to put in the machine number and you just scroll down and it wants it right here so I'm just gonna put in my machine number okay good and click OK and it's gonna give a pin code right here on the machine I put this number in on the screen over on my laptop I'm gonna click OK and it says what's the pin code so I'm gonna put in the pin code that the next page gave me okay and click OK the Canvas workspace setting has been specified. I'm going to tell it OK. Uh, Canvas workspace login ID, Becky Lee Thompson, that's my name, and we're good. I'm going to tell it OK. I had to hit the back arrow and it worked out fine. I'm all done. I'm going to click OK. And here we are. Uh, there's my new one. It says ready for data transfer. I'm good to go. It was that simple to register the machine with the Canvas workspace. You want to do that because that way 
you can wirelessly send designs when you scan in then you can you can edit them on your laptop which is so much easier you can do it here on the screen or you can save it to a USB stick and then take that USB and put it on your computer you know you've got wireless capability you might as well go ahead and use it right so now everything's all connected easy peasy I'll be able to upload data that I scan into the scan and cut wirelessly up to the cloud and I can edit it in the cloud I'm gonna go back here to canvas workspace and go back to my projects there's the stuff we're working on yeah this is awesome so now this is all good to go I'm pretty happy about this this was really simple